Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this Edge TX snippet, I'm going to show you a couple of audio handling pro tips on Edge TX. When you set up a global function or a special function to play an audio track, you have this repeat value over here on the right hand side. So let's take a look at what the options are. In this repeat section, you can either do 1x, which is the default. And what that means is it will repeat one time when this thing happens and that's it, it's over, the track is done. If you scroll to the right on this field, you'll see that you can set it to play, there she goes, every one second, right? So what that means is when you use 1s, that audio track will repeat every one second. That might be useful if you have something like an alert like if you have a, uh, a rat-tat-tat or beep-beep-beep or something like that, or if you want to have gear down, you know, you might want to say gear down, gear down, gear down. You know, whatever, whatever instance you might have on your radio where you want to hear the warning or the, the audio track on a repetitive basis, that's where you'd set 1S or 2S or 3S. And what that means is that's how often it repeats. But there's another one that a lot of people don't know about, and that's the exclamation. And the reason I say a lot of people don't know about this is because I get asked this question quite a bit. How do I prevent audio from playing when I turn on my radio? So in this case, I've got SB up and that one plays my rate high. So when I have high rates, SB up, that's my switch I use for high rates, I play the track rate high, but the exclamation means it doesn't play when the radio starts. I'd like to do a demonstration on what that means. So I'm gonna go and set this down to 1X, which is the default value, and I'll show you what will happen when we turn on the radio. So I'm gonna set it for 1X, there's 1X, and we'll set that value and back out. Now what I'll do is turn the radio on and off to reload the model and give you an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, so radio's off. Now when I turn the radio on, it'll play that audio track, so listen. Welcome to HTX. Switch warning, high rate. See, high rate. It played high rate because I didn't use the function to say don't play on model load or on radio start. The way we do that is we'll go into my global function again, and I'm gonna set the value back to an exclamation 1x. So when I do that, we'll just set it to, we'll just set it to exclamation 1x. And what that says is when this model is loaded, during boot or during a model selection process, don't play this sound. Only play it after that when this trigger is active. So we'll prove that out. I'm going to shut the radio off again and we'll turn it back on and we'll listen for it. Welcome to HTX. Okay, there you go. No alert. All right, so that's, that's pro tip number one. Use the exclamation 1x, which means it'll play one time, but not on boot. Unfortunately, there's no other option for like negative 1s or negative 5s or negative 10s. Maybe that's a feature enhancement down the road at some point, but right now there is no option to do that. All right, so the next pro tip I wanted to show you is one where you can boost your volume when you take off. So think about this scenario, you're at the field, and for me, I like to leave the volume down. When I'm at the bench, I don't want the radio turned up really loud, especially if I'm around to other people. I just don't want it to be loud and annoying. So I generally find myself using the volume knob quite a bit. And you can see right here on the screen, there is an indicator showing you the volume level. So right there, you see the volume as I turn it down, how that indicator goes down. And if I turn it up, it goes up, you see that? Okay, so if I set the volume, to something tolerable for bench use. And I'll just hit the switch a few times. Medium rate, low rate. Okay, so that's tolerable for bench use, right? I'm, I'm happy with that for bench use. Now let's say I'm ready to go fly and I want my volume cranked all the way up, but I pe keep forgetting to set it and I wind up fiddling with it while I'm flying, right? So there's an option to take care of that. And that's by using a function, global function or a special function to deal with it. And here's how I did it. So. Uh. Notice when I flick the arm switch, the volume goes all the way up. It goes all the way to max. And then when I disarm, the volume goes back down to my bench level, okay? Let me show you how to do that real quick. Just hit system, go into global functions, and set a global function that says, when you arm your craft, so when you're getting ready to take off and you arm the motor, in my case, that's SH away, I have a function volume and I set the volume to max and I put it on enable. And by doing that, whenever my SH switch is away, 
when it's forward, my volume goes all the way up. When I pull my SH switch down or, or disarmed, I'm back to bench volume. All right, that's it. Just a couple little pro tips on how to handle audio on Edge TX. I hope you found this information useful. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.